Should I get a light for that wall? Seems a bit bare, doesn't it? Welcome everyone to another video. In today's video, we're going to be making a Instagram banner post that repeats like this. So if you want to find out how to make one of these, stick around because we're going to be doing it right now. So first off, why? Well, you don't have to have one of these, but if you're looking for a certain aesthetic to your profile page, it can work great. So if you have a look at the one I have for my Instagram page here, drop a follow by the way, link in the description. So it runs along the side, depending on where I've posted or what position I've posted at. Sometimes it'll be in the middle, sometimes it'll be down the left-hand side. So I've got mainly my social links going down, partner of Humble Bundle, which is just nice knowing for everyone to see all that information. So part of the reason I'm making this as well is because my logo's changed. But you can see it just continues down, continues further. It has all my social handles on, so it clearly be seen as people are scrolling down the list. So how is it that you actually make one? So we'll jump into Affinity Designer now. And first thing you need to know is how many do you need? So when you're opening a new document, so we go to File and New. I'm going to change the width and the height to a square, basically. So Instagram loves squares. They do have a more of a portrait version of a profile post, but keeping it a square means it can be continuous and it makes it a lot nicer. So we'll make it a square. So we'll make this 600 by 600. Depending on how many you need, we'll times that number of how many posts you need by the page height here. So let's say you need 10, we'll times 600 by 10, making it 6,000. If you need five, we'll times that by five, making it six, uh, making it 3,000, right? if my math is right. So work out how many you need, put in your page height, always create an artboard, in my opinion. We can keep it as a transparent background and we hit create. So what I've done is I've gone for six different slides. So my height is, see it down in the bottom corner here. So my height is 3,600 and my width is keeping it 600. So now what you wanna do is we wanna set up some margins. So if we head over to view and down to guides manager, turn that on. And I always get this wrong, but I think it's rows. Yeah, we need rows. So we're gonna go for six rows because that's how many posts I'm gonna need. And we're gonna change the gutter to zero. We don't want one of those. And what that means is it gives you a nice guideline of a red line, which you can change the color of if you need to. I prefer red just because it stands out the most for me gives you a guideline of where the post ends. So if you want something to overlap, then you can keep it and you know where it's gonna overlap and where you're gonna cut the, the posts. So once you're happy with your color, go to close and you'll have this ready to go. So now basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your design, figure out what you want, how you want it, design it how you like it and and then we'll skip forward to the exporting because that's important as well because right at this moment if you export this it's going to be one long post you don't really want that so i'll let you know in a second how you can actually cut it up and make it separate posts but keeping the actual shape and all the designs kind of interlocking together i'm going to fast forward through my actual design if you do want to see this in live and you want me to voice over how basically i made everything then drop a comment below and i'll happily make that video as well but for now I'll see you in a second.
All right, so there we go. This is what I've created. I want to go for more of a simple design. And key things that I want to point out here is I've got things overlapping the red line just so that this post here will have a little bit of the next post and then the next post will have a little bit of the previous post and so on and so on. This is the only one that doesn't really have much of an overlap except for the Twitter logo down here. And then they go on. So a key thing as well is what I like to add is at the very, very end is a repeated part of the very, very first one. So if you saw what I did in the fast forward is I duplicated the artboard by clicking the move tool, move tool and holding alt, clicking on the artboard number one or whatever the name is, dragging it across. And then what I did was I moved this down to the bottom just so that it was lined up. So I knew wherever it's overlapping, it's going to carry on overlapping the more I post it. And then the same thing with the background here. So with the background, uh, you can just about see there, it cuts off at the bottom. So this little bottom part of the B that's here would be introduced into the YouTube one right at the top, which is here. But then I added that in as well just to keep it a bit more repetitive. You don't want it to kind of cut off at the end and then the next one, the top of the YouTube one's missing. It doesn't kind of fit with that. So those are the key things just to keep, keep an eye on when you're making a repeating post like this. So now, because you've got one big picture, we want to export it. So we head over to the export persona up here. And this is kind of why I love Affinity Designer, just because of the the ability to flip backwards and forwards through these personas. So what we want to do is, first of all, uncheck the artboard here. We don't want to, well, unless unless you want to export the whole artboard itself. If we uncheck the artboard, we want to create a new slice. So we're using the slice tool. We head up to the top first one. Grab the top left corner, hold shift, just so it's going to be a perfect square. So you know you're not going to end up messing about and accidentally doing it somewhere else. Hold shift, bring it down to the bottom and it'll snap pretty much exactly on where that red line is. Let go of the mouse, let go of shift. You'll see that you've got your first slice there. So for the next one, bring your mouse up. And sometimes you'll want to try and grab or put your mouse over the previous circle, I guess, but you can't really do that. But what if you get really close to it, you'll see a yellow dot pop up. So I'm not actually on it, but I'm where I'd want to be. So if I click from here now, it's going to click from where that yellow dot is, just so that I'm not messing about with any handles or anything. So click again, hold shift, bring it down to the bottom. Got slice number two. Same again, come to the top left corner, click, hold shift, down to the bottom, and again. And do this as many times all for all your slices all the different posts that you're gonna have and what you should have then is however many slices so i've got six now you can name these if you like which i'm gonna do now what we want to do is head over to export slices at the bottom here and your window pops up here so figure out what folder you want to save your files into so i've got my old vertical instagram banner there so i'm going to pop them in this one export them into there and now when you open up that part or find where that folder is, you'll see you've got all your posts there. Now the key thing when you're posting these on Instagram, which I'll show you here, is you have to post them backwards. So the way Instagram works is that your posts naturally go down the list. So in this case, I'd post the Instagram one first and then this logo one and then the Twitter one and then so on to make it go upwards. So with the banner that we have, what we'd want to do is post the Humble Bundle one first, then the Twitter one, then the logo, just so that it creates the effect. So remember to post it backwards if you want it to be consistent, basically. Now you can do the same thing for a horizontal post as well. So on Instagram, you've got three posts wide. So you could do the same thing, make a square post times the width by three, and you can make yourself a banner that goes across the page. I don't personally like these ones because when you post something, the banner becomes misshapen. So for example, the next time I post something, 
this section was going to come down to this side and my new post is going to appear here past this one these are all going to shift across so what that means is if i had these three top posts as one big banner then this one is going to head over to the next line and it's going to be all out of shape unless you post thing in things in threes i personally don't so it doesn't really work for me so that's the one thing to do against having a horizontal banner which is why i opted for a vertical one basically and that's basically it so you've now got the tools in place to be able to make a repeating post for instagram so you can get creative and figure out different designs different ways if you check out the carousel posts that i have in my instagram those are repeating posts which actually slide across one post so there you have it quick video on how to make a vertical repeating banner post for instagram if you found this video helpful make sure you leave it a like hit the subscribe button because we've got more design things coming up soon as well and as always you can follow me on instagram follow me on twitter links in the description below as well as follow me on twitch going to be doing a few more design streams as well coming up soon loads of design stuff coming up so if you do like this let me know if you'd like to see the video as the design and me talking through how i actually created parts of the design then i'm happy to do that drop that in the comments and i'll happily make that video but until next time i from brown bear thank you for watching i'll see you next video